Welcome to Kids Storytime Book Club. Today we have a special Halloween episode from the Disney film Hocus Pocus, The Game. And in this game, we're going to work together to play the ingredients. Here are the ingredients cards. Ingredients like newt saliva, thine own tongue, dash of pox. And we're going to play these ingredients into the cauldron to ruin the Sanderson sisters' potion. If all five ingredients are the same color type, you stun a witch. And here's the stun card, where we could see which witch <laughs> we stun. And the sun will move up until it rises and the spell will be broken. If you stun a witch three times, the sun rises and the players win. The witches are defeated, but if the ingredient deck runs out before the sun rises, the players lose. So before we get started, let's give this a thumbs up, press that subscribe button right down there, and let's get started with the magical fun. Let's take a closer look at all the pieces that come with this game. We have the sun token, and this is the piece that's moving up each step until the sun rises. We have the stun token. Anytime a witch gets stunned, ooh, they're all confused. So that's the stun token. And then it comes with directions to help you play the game. Nice detailed guide. And then we also have 50 ingredient cards that we shuffle and provide to each player. And what's great is you could play up to six players on this game. Also includes 13 spell cards with all sorts of fun witch spells. Like look at this one. My whammy fell on you and it was strong. Discard the top ingredient from each pile unless that ingredient shows bink. So there's different spells and tricks in this deck. And then we also have trick tokens, where if you play one of these, you'll be casting a trick on another character. And we also have binks. Binks helps you to communicate with the other players without the witch's interference. When you play an ingredient showing binks, you can place binks in front of any player, including yourself. And if you have binks in front of you, you may play with your hand of cards with your face up on the table in front of you. So Binks is kind of a helper in this game. And of course, the main part, the Witch's Cauldron. This is where we place the different ingredient cards to help stop the witches from creating their potion. Let's get started. So now we can take turns asking others for ingredients without showing them what cards we have. So if someone asks, let's say, do you have a fine own tongue, I do, and I can match it to the right color, and immediately after, I take a spell card to cast a spell. And this one says, oh, the time has come to play here in my garden of magic. Players cannot ask for another, infor cannot ask for information until another spell is cast. Okay, well then, we can't ask any more questions, and we can't stun any of the witches, so let's continue. Now, any time that it happens where, let's say, we've matched all the colors in the cauldron, something like Sarah the Witch is stunned. If all the ingredients are the same color, she gets stunned. And any time a witch gets stunned, the sun goes up one step until it's closer to rising and we've broken the spell. But if it was something like all the same ingredients were on the front, even though different colors, then Mary gets stunned and the sun would continue to rise. Or if they're all the same ingredient and there's one of each color, let's say we had this ingredient, this, and they're all different colors, then Winifred gets stunned and the sun would rise again and we would have broken the spell and won. Or we can even take turns in between and play tricks on each other. This one says, circle of salt, discard a spell and draw another spell. So we'd have to get rid of one of these and take a new spell. And of course, we can always use the help of Binks the cat. 